everyone. I'm here with Ryan. And uh, Ryan bumped into us as we were sitting around the table, and Ryan was like, hey, I know you. So we said, hello, come on over and chat a little bit with us. Ryan, uh, what, what brings you to the con? Uh, really, I came here five years ago for free. Uh, I was at Snowfrock down in Denver, and John Strand was giving out free tickets. And I was like, just happened to win one. And I was like, I've never been to a hacking conference in Deadwood. So I was like, I'll take the year off DEF CON and I'll go to Wild West Hacking Fest. And I loved it so much. I skipped DEF CON this year to come here and drove on up. And it's probably my favorite hacking conference ever. But I owe a lot of my, actually a lot of my cybersecurity learning to IT Pro TV. Uh, just sitting there and watching videos to try to grow my my skills because I didn't come from an IT background. I was in law enforcement for six years before this, so in order to find like affordable training and all that, really IT Pro TV really helped me out when I didn't have other options and I couldn't go to other places, right? And even when I was in other classes, I used videos from IT Pro TV to help me. Through those, uh, through those different cert processes. So yeah, it was great. So that, that's so awesome. Uh, you saw us and you kind of bumped over there and you said, hey, I recognize Ronnie, I recognize Daniel. And we we're like, that's awesome. So what is it, what did you take with us? What was your favorite course? And what, what do you like so much about our platform? What I like about the platform are just, it's not dry. That's, that's the best part, it's personable and uh, just the interactions are great. I was kind of sad that you didn't have anything on the uh, current CHFI, which was the last cert I got. And I want you to get current stuff on that because I want to go back and refresh uh, some of the stuff I learned in the CHFI coursework. So um, v V10 CHFI, come on. Hey, I, it, I'm but one man, sir. But uh, I'll put it on the list. It's definitely a great course, like a lot of cool stuff. I, want, I love making great security contents, and that stuff is super interesting. And I know like people like yourself, I constantly get, hey, CHFI is a great course. Can we get something from you? It's just time and effort, right? And then I would love to make that course. Uh, and another one too, I have a hard time finding Azure security related content without having to pick through the individual Azure classwork. And maybe if there was a way, a playlist or something like that, where I could pick the pieces out of all the other Azure stuff, because I'm not interested in the certificate. I just want to make sure I miss, I'm getting the key points I need when I'm going into and doing anything in Azure. So That's awesome. Uh, and, and a very popular thing, right? People are, yeah. obviously everything's gone cloud. Uh, you did say you, you went through some certification courses with us. What certifications were we helpful with for you? Uh, Security Plus, Net Plus, CYSA were the big ones, definitely. I went to a boot camp for Security Plus, but ahead of time I watched your stuff. Um, and then really, really Net Plus, because I went to kind of a degree mill program for that one and it wasn't the best. So I was really struggling with that one. And then CYSA, I entirely self studied that and did all of that based off of self study and. Uh, your uh, videos, so. Awesome, what uh, talk are you excited to see here? You know, I honestly don't know any of the talks that are happening at all. You are in for a treat, sir. So I'm mostly just excited to hack around and play around with stuff, but um, I mean, John Strand always gives great talks, so that's definitely gonna be great. No, you never go wrong with a John Strand talk, right? Have you uh, started with your badge at all? Yeah, let's see. Uh, got, got a handful in, got a handful in. We've been working on it, where's mine, there it is. Oh, okay, all right. We're, we're getting there, I'm working my rounds. Right. Let's the, the, the good work. Yeah, the flipper might or might not work, by the way, to capture some of these. Oh, <laughs> smart idea, smart idea. I don't have a flipper, I gotta get a flipper. I'm not Everybody one of the cool kids. Yeah. Everybody needs a flipper. Right. Ronnie, you got a flipper? I do not have a flipper. What's wrong with you? Uh, I don't have enough money right now so and you can't find them anywhere they are hard to get they are hard to get very popular item right right well ryan thanks so much for joining us and thanks very much for telling your story and where you're going and what you're doing we appreciate it and uh thanks for watching yeah, thank you thank you and there you go we got more interviews coming so be on the lookout for those